Hey, YouTube friends. Thanks for joining me for this fundamental reformer workout. So we're going to work from head to toe and we'll be using the reformer box for this workout. Let's begin with some footwork. So I've got three red or three heavy springs on and we're going to come down onto the carriage, put our feet on the foot bar in the V position. So toes apart, heels together, knees about shoulder distance apart. We're going to push the carriage out and return. I want you to use an inhale as you press out and an exhale to return. Just get yourself moving and then we'll talk a little bit more about form. As you press out, I want you to zipper through the inner thighs, bringing the legs together. And then as you return, you want your knees to track over the center of the feet. So they'll come about shoulder distance apart. Also, you want your pelvis to stay level. So the goal is to move the legs, the hip joint and the knee joint, but not move your pelvis around. So if you feel the heaviness of the bone between your two glutes resting on the carriage, it shouldn't change position as you go in and out. That is the goal. You wanna keep it still. Come on in, let's change our foot position. So bring the feet and legs together and wrap the toes over the bar and press out from there. This is gonna work a little bit differently in the foot and ankle muscles. Again, your breathing here is an inhale to press out and an exhale return. I like to inhale through the nose and exhale like you're blowing through a straw and come back in. Shoulders are open, neck is relaxed, and we're gonna do just three more, two, and one. Now we're going to go to our heels. Legs are still together and you're going to push through the center of your heel to go out. You should be able to feel a little bit more of the work in the back of the thigh now because we're pressing from the heel. I focus on drawing the back of the leg down without hyperextending the knee. So controlling that. A few more. and return. Now let's go on to the end of the ball of the foot called the high half toe. So heels lifted, press out and return. Inhale away, exhale return. Now if this pace isn't working for you, you can go a little slower, you can go a little faster. The main thing is to stay in control of the carriage for the whole range of motion. So obviously on the way out, but also on the return. Now let's hold the next one out there, lower and lift the heels. So get your glutes to hug each other, pull the abs in and draw your inner thighs toward each other. And then use your exhale to lower and your inhale to lift. That's it. Nice straight knees without sinking into the back of them. And let's do four more, three. You should feel a little burn here, two, and one, and come in. Now, take your heels to the outside of the bar and turn your legs out for our second position here. Pressing away and returning. Inhale and exhale. This always feels so good to me after the lower and lift. I hope it does to you too. Let's do five more. Five. Feel the glutes a little bit more on this one because we're in turnout. Two to go. Last one and return. We're gonna to go to single leg now, so I'm gonna switch my springs. So I'm gonna take one of the red off. So I end up with two heavy or two red springs. Come back down and you're gonna take one foot on the foot bar in that high half toe position we did before. And this time it's gonna be right in line with your sit bone. Heel right in line with the sit bone. And start with the, the other leg reaching out over the bar and then bicycle, press out, pull the knee in, and then exhale to reach that leg over the bar. It's almost like you're shaving that bar, getting really close to it with the leg. Again, the whole goal here is to do this reciprocal work with no movement in the pelvis. That's really good training for disassociation, holding one part of your body steady 
while you move the other part. Let's do four more. Reach. Three. Exhale. Two. And one. Now come on in. Let's switch to the other foot. Put it on the foot bar. Line it up with your sit bone. Reach the other leg over the bar and press. And reach away. Get that breath flowing. Pull it in. Both legs are under your control the whole time. You're not letting the springs do the work for you. Last four. And three. And two. And one. And finish. Now, I'm going to keep the two red springs on, and I'm going to put the straps on my feet for feet and strap work. One at a time. Hips come back down. Legs turn out. And I'm going to press and return. So the knees, it's just like our first footwork position, the toes apart, heels together. But now, instead of being on a solid bar, your legs have more room and ability to move around. But our goal is to make them move as if they're pushing against that foot bar. So straight out, straight in, not a lot of wavering around. Our exhale again, press away. Inhale to return. Four more. And three. We're going to add to this. Two. Now press out, hold it there. You're going to bring the legs open and close. When you open them, open them as wide as the shoulder rest, no wider, and then bring them back together. And two and three. So these are called beats. And there's an emphasis on the pull. <laughs> Pulling them back together without bouncing them off each other. One, two, three. And come back in. And that's on an exhale. Two, three. Inhale to return. Exhale out and beat. Two, Three. Now, if you're really controlling the open close, you're going to feel those inner thighs working against the straps, which want to pull the legs apart and keep them there. And one, two, three. And bring them in. And exhale. One, two, three. And draw them in. Two more. And one, two, three. Bring them in. And one more. One, two. Hold them out there this time. And the next one is our frog. So we're going to Keep the legs turned out. You're hinging at the hips to bring the legs up as high as you can without the bum lifting. Then bend your knees, and you're going to find a diamond position here. So you got to point your toes away. Hold the knees steady and extend them, and then flex the feet to pull around and point at the end. Inhale, the legs come up. Exhale, you find that diamond position. Inhale, you extend the knees. And then exhale, flex the feet, circling the legs around to the start where you point the toes again. Up, diamond, extend, circle. Breathe in and exhale. Breathe in, exhale back to the start. Point the toes throughout until you add that circle around. Then they flex. Reach and flex. Up. Make sure in your diamond, you're getting that nice straight line from the knee to the big toe. So stop here for a second. Make sure you're not hooked. Make sure you're pressing into the outside of that foot to point away. Then open and pull around. Two more. Up. Bend. Reach. And around. One more time. Try to keep the pelvis from moving. That's the goal as you move the legs. Beautiful. Now let's take the straps off and come up and turn around. But first, we're going to change our springs to one red, one heavy spring. I'm going to face the back, and I'm going to make sure I have room behind me because I'm going to hinge back. We're going to do our rowing, and we're going to take our legs through in between the shoulder rest, cross them if you need to to get them between, and we're going to do our straight back. Palms are up, you're sitting tall. You're going to hinge back and do a bicep curl at the same time. 
Hey guys, before we continue the workout, I just want to tell you about John Gary TV. On John Gary TV, you'll see workouts like this without any ads or any interruptions. We have literally thousands of workouts on John Gary TV. We've got mat workouts, reformer workouts, all kinds of workouts, and we have lots of different subscriptions so you can find the one that's perfect for you. If you check out our link above, you'll see that your subscription is 50% off your first month. I hope you'll join me over on John Gary TV and now let's get back to work. Then you're gonna hinge back up but this time you reach your arms toward your ears. You keep hinging forward until you feel the carriage dock. Then you're gonna flex your spine over as you circle the arms forward, down and back and then all the way back around with your body flexed over the whole time and then you roll the spine back up and turn the arms back to the start position. Inhale, hinge back. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, flex over. Now circle the arms. Full circle with your body in that position and don't slam the carriage. Control it. And then stack back up. Hinge. Reach. Hinge forward. Now there's no tension in the straps as you start that circle. Then you have tension. As you circle them back around, there's no tension again and come back up, but it should look really smooth. You shouldn't be able to really tell. Hinge, reach, hinge, circle, exhale. Inhale all the way back through and exhale to roll up. Inhale back, exhale, sit up. Inhale, hinge forward, exhale, fold over the legs and circle the arms. Inhale to return that circle back to the front, exhale, Roll up, fluid, back and up and forward and fold. As you circle, bring it around, flip the arms over as you roll up. One more, hinge, reach, hinge forward, fold over, pull back, circle around and roll back up to the start. All right, that's a complex one. Let's move on to a simpler one. We're going to do some side kneeling. I'm going to keep the one heavy spring on, and I'm going to come on to my knees. You can also do this seated on the carriage if you don't like kneeling. Then, knees are wide. That helps you with your balance. Hold the strap in one hand and lace the other hand over the top of it. Form a circle with your arms and twist. So the goal is to... Rotate the rib cage facing one corner to face the other corner. The arms stay stable, not changing their position in relation to your body. So the hands are right in front of the sternum the whole time. The hips are not turning, just the ribs. That gives you really good oblique work. Exhale as you turn for three more, and two, and one, and return. Now, the next one is a little balance challenge as well as strength. So reach across and hold the strap. We're going to do the backhand. Take your free hand and use that arm as a support on the side of your body. Slowly bring the elbow up and extend, and then come back down across. Exhale up and out. Inhale down. Everything is staying stable. The thing that's moving is the shoulder and the elbow. Pulling out and pressing and coming back through. Last two and come across. Last one and come across. The next one's also challenging. You're going to hold the strap and the hand closest to it, and you're going to bring your arms up. They're slightly bent. You're going to bring both of them up above your head and touch the fingertips together and come down. This is our hug the moon. Exhale up. Inhale back down. Keep the torso very stable, not leaning from one side to the other. Pull up and down. Four more. We've got four and down. Three. And two and one. Really good work on the oblique system, the sides. Let's turn around and do that on the other side. 
So first we have our twist. So Neil, take the strap and the hand closest to it, place the other hand over the top, and add your twist. Rib cage turns, hips do not. Hands stay in line with the sternum, coming with you, and return. That's it, rotate, and back. We've got five, and return. Four, and back. Three, and exhale, two, and one, and come back. All right, now, take the strap and the hand furthest away, Use your support beam for our backhand. Elbow up, hand up, and then return. Exhale, up and out. Inhale, return. Pull and reach. And come back. We've got four. And back. Three. And two. And one more. Reach. And back. Now. Switch the strap into the other hand for hug the moon. Arms move evenly up, touch above your head and down. Exhale, reach up. Inhale, return. Pull up and come down again. Lift and down. We have four more. Four and three. Pull up. Two and one, beautiful, and down. All right, guys, now we're gonna move the foot bar down. We're gonna keep the one red spring on for a little long box. So let's bring the box out, place it in front of the shoulder rests, and then we're gonna climb on top of that box. You come onto the box with your chest off the edge and the bottom of the ribs on. We're gonna scoot our hands up the ropes for arms pulling straps. We're gonna start with the plow. Upper body flexed over. Pulling the arms toward the floor, lengthen the spine. Pulling the arms to the hips, lift the chest. Come forward and down. Inhale as you pull back and lift. Exhale as you lower through that long line and over. The palms stay facing in the whole time. Don't rotate the arm. The palms should face the hips when you're at the top of the movement or the glutes if you're going a little higher. Lift and lower. The chest lifts, the head comes along for the ride. The work is in the back extensors and the lats the rear delts, the traps, mid traps, lower traps. We've got it, lift and lower. Now, just lift the arms up so that they're parallel to the floor, body still flexed over. They're gonna stay parallel to the floor as your arms pull back and then return back forward. They never dip down. Inhale, the chest lifts. Exhale, the chest lowers, but the arms pull back even to the floor the whole time. Heel of the hand now goes to the butt. And pull. Exhale forward. Two more. Lift. And lower. One more time. Lift. And lower. That extension feels so good. And it's such great back work. Put those straps back on. And let's remove the box. Let's go into... A little long stretch, a little plank work for you. So I'm gonna use the shoulder rest today to put my feet against. I'm bringing the bar back up and locking it in. I'm gonna go to one red and one blue spring, one heavy and one light. Hands to the foot bar, one and then the other foot on the carriage against the shoulder rest and find your plank. Shoulders over hands, inhale, press back, exhale, come forward. So the goal is to keep the body in one straight line from head to heel while you move from the shoulder and forward. 
We've got four. And forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Two more. Back. And forward. One more. Back. Now hold it back here. Bend your knees to bring the carriage in. And press out. Exhale, pull in two. The back stays flat. So we're doing our knee stretches with a straight back. And we're back a little bit. Making it harder. Five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, come forward and lower your knees. Scoot back so your feet are right against the shoulder rest again. And let's go into down stretch. So we're going to finish with this, sitting with a round spine. Lengthen the spine, that'll move the carriage out. And then extend the knees and hips. Pull up and release and up. The body stays in the bow shape for three movements of the carriage. Then you press back. You bring the knees and hips under rounding the spine. Doesn't that feel great? Let's review again. Lengthen the spine. It moves the carriage out. Then lengthen the knees and hips. The hips sink. You're going to exhale, lift the chest. Inhale, come back. So you're sliding forward and back three times. Up. And then after that third one, the knees come under, the hips come under, your head goes down, and you're in that nice C curve. One more time. Lengthen the spine. Press the legs out. Hinge forward one. And back. Inhale. Two. And back, come up three, and back, and draw everything back into the start. Well, guys, that does it for our fundamental reformer workout. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you'll check out the other workouts on our YouTube channel and also all of the thousands of workouts on John Gary TV. We have a great app and you can get two free weeks for a trial to check it out. No ads. I hope you'll join me there and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye, buddy. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for working out with me today. I hope that you enjoyed that workout. And if you did, I hope that you will join us over on John Gary TV. John Gary TV has over a thousand workouts that include Reformer, Pilates, Matt, and Fitness. We are your at-home Pilates and Fitness studio. Right now, if you sign up, you'll get 50% off your first month. And it doesn't matter if you don't have a Reformer. If you've got a mat, you can have a mat membership. If you've got some fitness gear, you can have a mat and fitness membership. Or if you've got a reformer, you can have an all access membership. We've got you covered. So I hope you'll join us over on johngarytv.com today.